Welcome back to Alan Wake 2 and the crazy coffee world that uh, Saga has found herself in. We got the key to our trailer. People seem to think that we used to live here. But uh, couldn't get into our, our trailer, so we're tr we had to get the key. And I think we need to go... Yeah, down to here, Lighthouse Trailer Park. Didn't I go to all these places? It's interesting to me that maybe I did miss them. But they're like grayed out. I don't really 100% understand how the map works. So let's go, let's just go in here. Oh, the well. I don't think I did check this out. The Hwatori Well from 1913. Legends say this is the dwelling place of the evil water spirit, the Naki, who lures people to their watery graves. In the early days of Watery's history, this very well was where Ilmari Hwatari hid the bodies of his victims with the help of his brother Yakopi Hwatari. It was only after Ilmari murdered his own brother that their gruesome acts came to light. But was it madness or the spirit of Naki? Possessing... Isn't the name of the guy that owns the park Ilmari? Maybe I'm just not... I'm, I'm horrible with names. Uh, spirit of Naki possessing Ilmari that drove him to murder like he himself believed? Is there more to this well than meets the eye? Shoot. Can I fall in? No, okay. Oh, I don't like this. No entry, staff only. Must be locked from the other side. Hall of the Kalavala Knights. Can I find their names here? Story. Okay, still for later. Look like it. So I could probably go around, maybe? No? Point of interest. Maybe I have to go to here. Well, let's check out Espresso Express. for secrets fun <laughs> yeah this place is really fun better days oh three oh more numbers yeah really fun No power. Must be a fuse box around here somewhere. Okay. The wire wrapping around there. Ah, there it is. Down there, maybe? Maybe we can get this going. Oh. Let me guess. I need to the find fuse a fuse. Can't operate the ride without it. Yep, this is classic. Look for a fuse in the Calavella Knights Workshop. Classic horror, horror uh, side quests. 
horror game side quests. You gotta find the missing fuse. Surely you could just pop up there. Come on. Or jump over the fence. No. Can't do that. Crazy luckless? Okay, I want to get behind to hit hit that weak spot. It's not gonna let me though, eh? That one has one too. How am I supposed to hit those spots if it's on their back? Oh god. Fuck. Oh god. Oh, what? Oh, cool. Getting some little some glitches. Holy crap. Thank you. Thank you. I need those. I need those. I guess they drop maybe they drop um ammo if you're running low. Okay. Good 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 start. Okay. Oh god, I hate I should just zoom right in on you. There's some little things about this game that are starting to get a little bit annoying. Oh, we read about Moke the Moose. Yeah, okay. I'm assuming we're gonna find Um, the breaker thing in our in our um, trailer, right? Lighthouse Trailer Park. And what's back that way? Downtown Watery. Okay, so that's where the bridge is out. Kind of want to go check it out. Feels like they might hide something over here. Is the bridge fixed? What goes up? Oh, nice. Rocks. Okay, so there might be a lunchbox around here. There's another lunchbox. Yeah. But then almost at the same time, but not quite, another hand grabbed my other wrist. It was my childhood friend's estranged twin brother, a rugged ex-soldier who'd helped me fight back the zombie horde. With his chiseled jaw and smoldering eyes and worn leather jacket, my heart fluttered like a small bird against its cage. Ignore him, babe. You know I am who you want. The sensitive friend I had cared for all my life or the intense warrior I had known for one harrowing day. How was I ever going to choose? The zombies were easier than this. That's funny. Nine manuscript fragments. Manuscript fragments. Okay. Another save. Wait, I can profile them? 
The safe? I need to open the safe. What's the combination? I did this already. The puzzle, Zuma. Ilmo. Why not just use keys? People love the puzzles, Yako. And Yako. Only very smart people can think up good. Shit, puzzles. what were the names again? Just look around and you will find the answer. Dedicated staff will be rewarded. It wasn't Yako. The combination to the safe is somewhere in the gift shop. Yeah, I already found this. Already found the safe. Okay, we have 16. Nice. Reload speed. In one fluid motion, Saga cracked open the shotgun, sending the empty hulls flying over her shoulder and slammed the new shells in faster than she had imagined possible. The other thing that's a bit weird about this game is the cutscenes are quieter than everything else. So I've actually been bumping up the um, sound sometimes when I think about it. For you guys in the cutscene. Lighthouse. Oh, shit. Okay. Well, we don't need to fight them right now, right? Like, I don't need to go. I search the woods! We need to go to the lighthouse. I want to go. I don't see where they are. Shit. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, I can get that now. Ow. Literally no ammo. What am I supposed to do if I have to fight? But I like playing on this difficulty, that's for sure. It's challenging. Um, okay, so I have the screwdriver, right? Okay, I have some ammo. guys didn't drop any it looks like well i have um the crossbow i guess i'll have to i'll have to swap out maybe i'll find some more stuff up here hopefully those guys don't respawn ah trickster and the wise elder doll. Um, cases. Trail of the cult. I already took care of all this. Right. Nursery rhymes. Got more pieces. Wise elder doll used to solve the rhyme puzzle. Trickster doll. The jester. We got a lunchbox by Watery. Locked. Need to find the key. Yeah, that makes sense. An old watcher of the sea before his demise. Curse the waters that ruined his eyes. 
So he played a trick on the ocean deep, the trickster. The waves to fight and havoc to wreak, and in doing that wrong, lost his soul's song. Wise elder. No. Where'd the other? Deer, moose, hero, crow, and wolf. It's gotta be a wise old man. A watcher of the sea. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I remember oh, another rhyme. But I just did it. Saga's losing it. Oh, oh, I missed this one. Fuck me back. It's one of them's back. Or is that what I did? I, was that even there? Maybe I got that. From solving that? Hard to tell. Can I go around? I'm thinking I have to kill this guy. Sharp. Serious? What am I supposed to do now? Run. We will watch it eat your mind. Oh. Guess I'll just run away. Okay. Okay, I guess I should be running more. I'm in the safe place. Still on me? Oh, it turned off. Gotcha. Give me some ammo, please. Okay, let me get the bolt back. Okay. Locked. Great. Great. Just checking the the settings to see if I could get the performance to be better. Seems that this area seems to have an issue. Okay, good. Shotgun shells. And that wraps up my list of favorite park benches in Bright Falls. And now I just want to clear something up from our last broadcast. There was some talk, an off-color joke of sorts, about Wendy Davis of Davis Family Beef Jerky being dead, which of course is a bunch of hogwash. So I'm gonna give our dear friend Wendy a call so we can put an end to these silly rumors. And, oh, it looks like we already have her on the phone line. That's a mayor thing. Wendy, hello. Hi there, Pat. Ah, uh, that, that's, that's not Wendy. <laughs> no. This is Jim Figamore. 
Remember? We were going to do the announcement today. Oh, is that... Was that today? Listeners, we have Jim Figamore with us and the director of the Bright Falls Community Theater. And... And I'm here to announce that the theater will be losing one of its most dignified thespians as I, Jim Figamore, what? will be running for mayor. <laughs> Hold for applause. Well, that's uh, quite a, an announcement, Jim. Just let me find my notes here. I have some questions written down for you. The real question is what happened to this town. Bright Falls used to draw in thousands of tourists with its vibrant art scene and impressive bird feeders. That's how you get people. That's how you get asses in the seats. Now? Haunted Bright Falls. Spooky Bright Falls. The world is laughing People at want us. to see spooky places, though. They should lean and into that. now all this business with the FBI? We need a mayor who can turn this town's reputation around. And nobody knows more about the role of mayor than I do. I played one in the theatrical production of <laughs> To glowing reviews by Coffee World. By Coffee Magazine. World Magazine. Mayor Setter is a joke. And you know what? I hear he kills cats. <laughs> I said it. Now, Jim, this is a family show. <laughs> ah, I found my notes here. So, so why don't we pivot to some questions? First question. What exactly? Okay. Goes um, I want to read this. Jerky. My first water revisit. I'm staying near the lighthouse trailer park at a nice little spot just off the road. It's very quiet here during the day. At night, not so much. I've never been too nervous um, and could sleep through an earthquake. But here, I don't know. Something just feels off. The animals act weird. They're restless at night, making weird noises and running away. And I could swear I hear something moving around, circling. I'm going to give it one more night and then move on. Okay. Wasn't really 100% paying attention to that, but... You guys can uh, read it if you want to. That that conversation on the radio. I think we caught the gist of the important stuff. Okay, we're almost there. We've been built, they've been building up this trailer park. I got four shots with my shotgun. Did I miss anything? The page said I'd run into a cultist here. On your toes, Saga. Is that a... Oh, it looked like a brick at first. Okay. Oh, that's how you get to the... Uh, Calavela Knight's workshop. I guess I could go there first. But I th think... Yeah, I'm going to check it out first. Consultation for floating. I'm kind of hoping I'll be able to find some good stuff in here. I need bolt cutters. Anything? Can open this. What the hell? The Tory butchered his victim with his Puko knife? Mask? What the hell? Tori. Swing the knife, stabbing again and again. This is the float they're making? There's the well. Oh, okay, okay. Haunting laughter echoed up from the well. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That's, that's a sign of a... Lunchbox, right?
Another one of those lunch boxes. Yep. It must be so exciting to be the story's hero. Honestly, I'm a bit jealous. I wish I could be the protagonist of something. To you. I get in. Come on, give me some ammo or something. You can pick up those crochet dog sweaters at the Sunday market. And while you're there, go and visit Wendy Davis yes, and yes. grab some of our sponsor's famous beef jerky. Up next, we've got Deer Fest. Oh, hold on now. We have, we have a call coming in. Which, which button is that? <laughs> really good at running that show. Uh, wrong line. Oh, hold on. Uh, he hello. Hello. You're on with Pat Main. Yeah. Gil Davis here. Well, what a pleasant surprise. We have Gil Davis on the line from our lovely sponsor, Davis Family Beef Jerky. Gil, any thoughts on those crochet dog sweaters? You need to stop. Eh, what's that? Just stop. The hell? Whatever this is you're doing, stop. I'm not sure I understand, Gil. There's no such thing as Davis family beef jerky. Whoa. I don't sell beef jerky. I've never made beef jerky. I don't particularly like beef jerky. Turn up a... I'm getting crazy I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> you got confused old ladies all over this guy. Oh, I forgot I can whack. For imaginary beef jerky. Asking for insane flavors like hickory teriyaki. Which clearly isn't a thing. If you don't sell beef jerky, then somebody needs to tell your lovely wife, Wendy, because she's out there at the market every Sunday selling it. Wendy is dead, Pat. No, that's, that's, that's not right. The hell? I, I just saw Wendy at the, at the market last weekend. Weren't they just talking about Wendy being dead? Wendy went missing 13 years ago, Pat. Oh. They found her body. She's dead. We're trying to make peace with that, and you're making it so much harder with all this goddamn beef jerky bullshit. No, that's, that's just not true. She's there. Every weekend, I see her there. This joke's gone far enough. Now go get Wendy on the line so we can have a laugh about this. <laughs> She's fucking dead, Pat. Jesus, man. Stop. Gil? I, I, I think we're out of time. Now, is that one of the victims? Let me let me take a look here. We got another piece for the nursery rhyme. Puzzles. We've got the rhyme found outside watery lighthouse. Is that her? This doesn't really say. Oh yeah, Wendy Davis, Ted Lane, and Percy Wolf. Um, let me just check the map because I can kind of see anything weird that I missed. So the well's just out here. Need this right now. I'm running, I'm running, I'm running, I'm running. Did they follow me all the way? No. Okay. Oh, okay. This is I'm getting stressed here. Get a little stressed. So I guess I can I can whack them maybe to do some damage. That's just gonna go. Okay, let's let's finally go into the trailer park. It's like the only reason we came here. Another mare thing. Mare Setter is not afraid of the rough questions.
Nice. Come on. Oh, okay, good. Good, 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 good. More. Guess we'll just we'll carry this uh, crossbow with, with us now, though, because we're low on ammo. I think there's something over here. Finally. It's in the rain. Must not drink the water. The old guys from the Let's band. Take a bath. Ever again. Moonshine. Only drink the moonshine, brother. Ah. Now the moon. Look like cold the moonshine is made from the water from the lake, so it has some kind of special properties. Uh, I remember. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't feel like myself. Oh no! I have to kill them? Excuse me. I'm looking for the Anderson trailer. Doesn't say Anderson right there. Say. It's not true. The lies to hurt you and make you weak. Don't believe a word. They believe because deep down they want to be told what to think. We're different. Rebels! You must stop it before it turns real. Don't be part of the story. Make the story. They they know about the story. Yeah. Start the hill of it. <laughs> These old drunks don't seem affected by the horror story like the other locals are. Do they know what's happening here? Because of the moonshine? How do you know about the story? Same as you, of course, sweetie pie. We are family. The Andersons. Vikings! Gods! It's so good to finally see you, Saga. I am your great uncle Odin, and this is your long lost Murfar, Thor! He is your grandfather, and I am the old father. <laughs> guys are drunk. Just as crazy as everyone else. Just as caught in it. I need to stay focused. I need to check out the trailer. Okay. Case board. But she did say her, her, her family on her mother's side was Finnish. Odin claims he is my grand uncle and that Tor is my grandfather. Keep trying. Oh. Um. Which parts are real? And which parts are fake? Like, uh, mom never talked about her family. So, anytime I asked mom about her home or family, she shut down. I have no idea who my grandparents are. Okay, maybe could be true. Can't talk to them. Okay. Searching time. That's what we do best. Run around aimlessly and hope we find something. Another Alex Casey box. You can overcome adversity and achieve your goals. Uh, 
I-13. Magazine size. Maybe. Magnetic pull. Bolts lodged into enemies will attract bullets fired near them? Oh. Fires two bolts for needing to be reloaded. Hold the fire button to draw the crossbow further for increased damage. So hit him with the crossbow bolt and then shoot away. That seems pretty cool. Let's do that. Saga had hit the taken with the crossbow. She switched to her gun and kept firing at it. The bullets hit home, following a strange trajectory, as if the bolt had carved a track in the air for them, a magnetic pull for them to follow. I maybe should have read up on those. So does that work with the shotgun too, I guess? Also, we have these, right? That I haven't really been using for weapons. I can't actually use my crossbow right now. You don't want me shooting those those two guys. They've got plot armor. Anderson, too. Those bells? Go in. Doors open. Reeks of booze. Addressed to me from years ago. Wake was right. Why is that there? The horror story is changing reality, not just people's memories. This card has mom's handwriting. Little bird told me that it's your birthday. Be sure to give yourself some special treatment. I love you, Logan. Grandma F. Bills and stuff. Oh, look at that pizza. That makes me not want to have pizza. That slice there. Ugh. How many more are there? Just one. It's a lot of a lot of beer. Everything here reminds me of Logan. This could be her room. Nordic this is getting Tales too real. and too personal. folklore. The Nordic Tales book Mom gave to Logan when she was little. Oh, I see. There's three things we have to find. Connie Chu, The Wildlife of the Pacific Northwest. Kind Stranger, The Very Old House, The Ribbon Hearted Girl. Logan's Junior Agent Certificate. So cute. Bon. Logan used to love her music. Uh, that's Ball. So what are we... Where is this going? Overlap. Dark Presence. Oh, art, maybe? Think, Saga. Logan's fictional room contains her actual mementos. I don't know where this goes. Oh, how the story's changing reality? Sure. Maybe, maybe Wake can't invent wholly new ideas, has to use what already exists. Okay, fact versus fiction. Poster in Logan's room for the musician Ball. Doesn't 
doesn't make sense. Oh, and that's why they're Odin and Thor or whatever, because the tales, the folk tales, Nordic folk tales. <sighs> Like she hates investigating. She's always like, Ugh. when really that's one of the most fun parts of the game. My new found relatives, cozy with the cult of the tree, and that's the clicker in the hands of the cult, just like the page promised. Here we go. Carly Vala Knights. That's the motorcycle club the Costello brothers are in. I'll take Odin and Tor up on their offer and visit their nursing home right after I find this biker workshop. Well, we've already been there, actually. No. We're going to set it right. It's okay. It's not true. It's just a fucking story. It's not true. Logan's back home. She's fine. Fuck. She's at school. David. I'm in the story and it's coming true. Wake said Scratch would try and hurt me with the horror story. But he said there's still time to stop this. I thought we were just getting attacked in the trailer. The hey, this is David. Leave a message. David? Is Logan okay? Call me back as soon. There, there they are. The cop. Mulligan? Mulligan. What the fuck? Hey, stay where you are. Mulligan is a cultist? What the fuck is going on here? I guess I can't go this way. Eh? Yeah. Maybe we can go around them. I actually probably need some more ammo. That's why I'm looking over here. I'm gonna I'm definitely looking through these. Thank you. Yes, I'm pressing the button, but it's not broadcast. <laughs> that green light is supposed to be red. Yeah. Which light? The pills? Dear mom, as promised, I'm writing to you now that we've settled in. We're doing great and busy as ever. The big city. Jim's working hard and landed a promotion. We're going to celebrate by going to a hot new restaurant that Connie recommended. Laura's doing well in school. <laughs> Just total incompetence over there on the radio. She'll save her pick of any college with the grade she's been getting. So proud of my little girl. I've been busy making her apartment into a home, training staff and shopping for furniture. Who uh, who knew finding a decent chaise lounge would be so hard? All going well. Don't you worry about us. Hope all is well to you. Oh. Talking about our daughter. Different girl. Can we please focus on making the green light red? What about this button here with the sticky note that says on off? Yes. Oh god. That's the one. Okay, let's press that and see if we got some ammo, eh? Let me see if I can get into here, get maybe get some more. We have to deal with that. Hello, Yako. Who 
is this incredibly attractive martial arts master? It's me, your brother, Ilmo. I now recognize you, but Ilmo, why are you dressed like that? Deerfest is almost here, which means we're <laughs> chopping the prices on all of our custom-designed Deerfest parade floats. Floats created by the award-winning team at Kalevala Knights Motorcycle Club. Winners of last year's trophy for best deer fest float featuring an animal that is not deer. That very team. And <laughs> you're gonna get a kick out of our latest float designs. <laughs> We've done it all. Deer fest floats, restaurant floats, floats shaped like things we can't Such tell a shame. Them. Our floats are the best way to impress your friends. Propose to your partner or throw shade at an office colleague. If we don't do just deer fest, our floats are a perfect gift for weddings, birthdays, and work mitzvahs, or your gonna circuncinaria. Our floats will <laughs> What's the situation. Quincerina? Let's hear it from one of our many, many happy customers. I was at Deer Fest last year. Happy -o. Floats were pretty good. One of them was a squad. I think this is the guy we heard on the radio. And there you have it. Award-winning boats now at reduced prices that will <laughs> knock you off your feet. I love that we've got this intense music on in the background too. <laughs> this is just we're in a, this is a ridiculous situation we're in. I love it. Da -da 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 -da. Okay, let's go. Let's go fuck this guy up. The cult of the tree. Thornton too? God damn it. Uh -oh. And now they're all taken? Maybe I should save it. Holy shit! <laughs> Oh my god! Okay, one of them was walking over here. There they are. We fighting? Oh shh. The headline about Logan wasn't real. Don't think about it. The cult has the clicker. Get it? Fix this. Oh, I think they opened the door. Oh god, that's so freaky. This is the workshop from the photo with the cultists. This is where they had the clicker. If it's still here, I need to find it. Oh, okay. Looking for a fuse also. I thought we were going to fight them. Maybe that's still to come. Yeah, they're giving us a lot of stuff. Oh, look! Little toys. Oh, okay. That's what they're made. Okay, the one thing I want to check out, like, when is the best time to use these? Throwable flare emits intense light for a long duration, can be held in hand or thrown. Propane tank, throwable gas canister. Detonates a shot inflicting heavy damage. Okay. Okay. You could throw that down, too. I'll probably shoot that one as well. Eh? I kind of want to. Can I just? Yeah, let's just heal up. Top up, top up for the fight. Assume I assume we're I still assume we're throwing down. Must be in there. There has to be a way to get this lock open. Okay. Keeping our eyes open for those symbols. 
on the computer, maybe? Sauna night? Thanks everyone for your valuable input. I'm assuming that means Saturday sauna night is on. Sauna is good for the body and good for the soul. You may not like it, but it likes you. All condiments are welcome, of course. For the condiments for the sauna? I can't find the new door lock combination. Look inside the smiley coffee cup. Doesn't help me. Ilmo, ignore Fred. He doesn't have what it takes. And he's wrong about ketchup, too. It's obviously chili mayo or nothing. Not everyone enjoys firing themselves to death, Ilmo. And who would pick mustard over ketchup? Hello, fellas. I suggest we start a regular sauna night now that the old place is working again. What's the best time for it? How about a classic Saturday night session? I'll bring the sausage and mustard, but BYOB. Bring your own bod. Dad bod. The deer fest floats are eating up our space. Try to keep things neat and tidy around the workshop, okay? I can't find my tools. I can't even find my left hand, even though it's attached to me. But I will find my boot up somebody's ass if y'all keep making a mess. Hey, check. Hey, Uncle Ilmo. Hope you're well. Charlene, Charlene and I still haven't received our paychecks from last month's Coffee World promo work. You sure they sent them? Could you double check? Maybe they slipped through the cracks. Also, Charlene wanted me to tell you her suit still smells weird. It's your final warning to stop taking the OOP out of the assembly hall. You want to get drunk in the workshop, fine, but the OOP is for ritual use only. You idiots are worse than my kids. Ritual use. Ritual use. What's OOP? Stash, the stashes. I've seen some of your... You place your stashes in the open. Please don't do that, you rascals. Cult stashes. So they're part of the cult? Biker garage. Mulligan and Thornton have the clicker. It's in another overlap. Here in Watery. Okay. Photo of Tor and Odin with cultists. Who's involved? Hmm. Um, so in, in, what did it say again? Something about the coffee? Look inside the smiley coffee cup. There's a bunch of coffee cups. It's not a coffee cup, though. Oh, nice. That's a good deer. Yeah. Yeah. Poor deer. Okay, 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 okay. I haven't spotted any symbols yet. That's actually like really close to the current time. It's 1017 here. Ah, here we go. Ah. Okay. So we've got and then oh there's the other one. Wait, there's something else there? Is that part of the story? Hey. 
Stop right there. The shape stumbled out of the dark toward Deputy Mulligan. Thornton was doubled over, coughing. A chunk of cold pastrami caught in his throat. Bring it, fucker. Mulligan fired. Thornton hacked the pastrami out of his windpipe, opened fire with his partner. What the, the monster hell? Fell. They kept shooting. The thrill of domination. This was the cult of the tree. Not one tree, a forest. Secret knowledge in a deer mask. The last line of defense. Yippee Kaye, motherfucker. Bright Falls, fucking finest. They crept over, pulling out their flashlights. The horror. This is Monica from the tackle shop. An innocent woman. Thornton's pastrami came back up. <laughs> what the hell is going on? <laughs> Choking on pastrami? Oh man, what a ridiculous thing. Okay, so. Okay, they don't have the symbol here. I was looking for. So I guess it's backwards maybe? So maybe like this? That? Oh, wait, hold on. Did it, oh, there it is, the hourglass. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm a dummy. I don't know, I have like a blind spot for that symbol for some reason. Isn't this right? Oh, no, it's the other way around. That. No? Why am I so bad with these symbols? I guess it could be the other way around from right to left. Or top. Oh, it's top to bottom. That's probably why I have it wrong. So it's like this, like that. There, okay, okay, okay. This is the cult hideout. Their headquarters even? This is, this is their headquarters. Yes, I'm taking all their batteries. There's no way they could defeat me now. There's a basement. Oh, shoot. That light switch you found washed up at the lake is not junk. It's fucking important. Trust me on this. From now on, whenever we catch a target, we're going to cut out its heart, stick this thing inside, and flick it. Okay. I know it sounds weird, but trust me. It'll be like a ritual. This is going to work. This is how they turn them into monsters, I guess? The Nightingale ritual wasn't completed. Everyone, please read. I'm not trying to play the blame game. We cannot let random tourists walk right into one of our rituals. We were stopped before we got to use the clicker. Hell, the lights weren't even set up yet. It's unacceptable. So let's look at the learnings. We need to be faster with our setups. We need to be 100% positive someone is on lookout duty. Communication, communication, communication. Slip ups like this are why we have FBI agents sleeping around, which is not great. I'm only being harsh about this because I know we can do better. The cult is leaving supplies around for themselves. Oh, maybe that'll like fill in the map. I marked the map like you asked. That's all the stashes by our last count. Locked and loaded and ready to go. This will be handy. Oh, good. Okay. That's it. The cult isn't well organized. People aren't following orders. To whoever has been sabotaging lake house equipment, stop it. If you're looking for ways to help the cult, this is not it. Unless bringing the feds down on us is what you consider helpful. 
In which case, you can fuck right off. Stay away from the FBC. And if you see them poking around again, report it to the Grand Master. This is the cult's process. Their ritual. No detailing the steps of the cult ritual. Probably cult ritual, what is it? Listed here consistent with what we found at Nightingale's murder site. Monishing members sabotaging FBC equipment. Maybe that's it. Apology. Altus note about ritual being interrupted. Think saga. Sometimes you just guess. <laughs> Confirms the ritual was interrupted. It says they didn't have time to use the clicker. Is that going to go? Yeah, who's involved? Okay. Same garage. This is the same garage from the photo. I don't really remember that. Email saying the OOP should stay in the assembly hall. <clears throat> yeah, what the hell is an OOP? Oh, object of power. Is it connected to the clicker? That's what the clicker is, right? It's a con some control terminology. Am I, am I right about that, guys? Oh, there's more here. This is one weird cult. For the cult of the tree, we watch in the night. I see it now. This is our mission. Make the woods scary again. It's a tree, a spruce tree. Keep them out. Keep them safe. Together we are a forest cult of the tree. That's under Federal Bureau of Control. Rose. She's that waitress from the diner. Rosemary Gold Observations, 321.14. He's home in a car, arrives at Oh Dear, opens restaurant, spills a cup of coffee, stares at coffee puddle and seems suddenly delighted. Begins talking animatedly to the puddle. Observer, not in diner, did I hear? Kind of like, um, remember, Alan looked at that pool of black whatever oil or whatever that was when he remembered how he got out of the dark place goes on break back from break ate a sandwich and wrote in a notebook couldn't see text stares that ceiling fan for approximately 50 seconds smiling leaves oh dear diner on foot stops at pier and writes a notebook stares that clouds and becomes upset shaking her head speaking up at the sky not close enough to hear leaves pier Arrives at car, enters, arrives home, watches TV, cooks dinner, macaroni and cheese, watches TV while eating, goes to bed, reads the sudden stop, turns off light. Oops. Observation report subject, the cult of the tree. Summary. Intermittent surveillance of the paracriminal group known as the cult of the tree shows that their operation is limited to a small area of Washington state. The group is reported to be made up of dedicated individuals equipped with only common tools. Overall level of organization is low. Overall comprehension of redacted is low. Our <laughs> redacted. I said that a lot during control. Our assessment yielded a category orange risk status. Further inquiry should be made as to the exact details and sources of their knowledge regarding paranatural elements. Investigation unit recommends cult of the tree be kept under permanent surveillance. Preparations made for the group's arrest and seizure of assets. See file 8521. 1027 for full report and recommended action. Summary and full report to be forwarded to Dr. Marmot and Dr. Marmot 
Dr. Mar Marma and Dr. Marma at the Cauldron Lake Research Site. It's both operate in a shared area. Addendum. Recommended action downgraded to continued intermittent surveillance. No arrest due to prioritization of resources. You're right. These sneaky fuckers are watching us, and our level of organization is fine. They don't know what the fuck they're talking about. Yeah, we're real organized. Report on Rose Marigold found in Cult HQ. Zoom in a bit more so you guys can read. Who's involved? Rose is that waitress from the diner. Is she involved? I don't think so. I think they're watching her, right? Or is it the FBC that was watching her? Not really sure. Drug... F is this psychology or something? Symbols? Ah, there we go. Seriously, this would almost be funny if they weren't killing people. Okay, guys, I'm gonna wrap it up here. And then we're going down into there the next one um i could drop something off in here and grab this get everything that we can oh and there's the fuse a fuse I can use this to get the Espresso Express working. Okay. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you on the next one. And I love you all.